Hey guys, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Of course, this is Adrian in Formodio. And today we're gonna go over some of the basics of parenting and using null objects. Now this can actually save you a lot of time because what parenting does is allow you to copy the attributes of another layer by simply linking them together. So I'm just gonna show you how it works on the layer form. If you select a layer and use this pick whip here, it's under the tab parent, you can click and drag to select another layer. So I'm gonna do that with the green square as well. So you can see we've connected it to the red solid. Now if we move this red solid, those two layers are going to be moved exactly with it. And this includes the rotation and the scale. I mean, they are locked together for life until you unparent them. But let's say you just wanted to copy the rotation of this layer, but you wanted all of these other properties such as position and scale to be separate. Well, that is possible. So let's just pull up the rotation property by pressing R on all of our layers. What you need to do is press option, hold it down and click on the stopwatch of the rotation property. And this will bring up the expression editor and we just want this pick whip and we're simply gonna click and drag and select the rotation of the blue layer that we want. We're gonna do the same for the triangle, click and drag to the rotation. And now only the rotation will stay but if we move the blue shape, you'll see that they're not attached. So we can still edit all of these properties, but anytime we edit the rotation, the other shapes will follow. So as you can imagine, this comes in handy quite a bit, especially when you're duplicating layers and you want them to do similar functions. All right, well now let's go into null objects. If you go to layer, click new null object, it'll create this empty looking square, which is kind of confusing. It, doesn't seem to have a real purpose. It doesn't affect your final render in any way. But what these are great for are controlling layers that you don't want to animate the properties of. Let's say you have um, an animation on your position, scale, and rotation, but now you wanna move the entire thing somewhere else. Well, to do that, you would parent it to this null object. For instance, I'll use the pick whip to select the null object and now it is attached. So this is like a camera that you can use for specific properties, but you can also attach several groups of layers to this null object and control it that way. And this has all of the usual um, properties that you can use. So if you wanted to um, link layers together, but then you wanted to move them and animate them on a higher level, that's what null objects are great for. Now, a null object also serves a really um, cool function for using cameras. So I'm gonna go ahead and make all of these 3D layers to show you that. I'm just gonna import a camera into the scene. So cameras are cool, it allows you to rotate around the shapes like this. And you know, this is actually a really cool movement that people want to achieve, but it's actually um, not possible to easily animate a simple rotation like this because you only have control of the rotations like this. So it's not allowing you to do this movement that you can do in the preview window, but you can actually accomplish this much easier with a null object. And all you need to do is link your camera to the null object, like so. Bring up the rotation. Oh, we need to make this a 3D layer. And if you control the Y axis, it'll allow you to rotate around like so. So it's interesting because our blue object is actually parented to the null, it's always facing it. But if we turned off this uh, attachment, then it would rotate just like the other shapes. Well guys, that is a quick dirty rundown of null objects and parenting in After Effects. I hope it saves you a lot of time on your projects, and I hope to see you again next time.